Okay, so the first thing you need to know when bracing your goat is that they have two grooves right here, and you can see it's where his shoulder and his neck meet, connect. There's one on each side of his chest, right here and here. That's where you wanna put your legs. That's where you make contact with the goat's chest. So, we're gonna keep his head up nice and high. And obviously he's small, and the goat that you guys might be bracing is large. So we're gonna get our legs in close to those grooves, right where I showed you in the front. We're gonna set his legs. And we're gonna keep that head up. And because you might be showing a big goat and not able to lift them up, we're gonna keep that head up as high as we can get it. And we're gonna push him back, or her back, in a circle, make sure to keep that head up nice and high. See how I have that pressure upwards on his collar? And I'm gonna keep pressing back. And if he runs into something, that's okay. Now see right there, he started to push. See how I'm still pushing back and his feet aren't moving? That's how you know he's bracing. Now if I was to let his head fall forward, even when I push him, he's not gonna brace and he's gonna get this hump in his back. Or if I'm bracing along his throat and still keeping his head up, he'll wanna keep backing up because we don't wanna push against, he doesn't wanna brace against his throat on my knee. So we gotta get into those grooves, keep that head up, and push back. If they back into something, that's okay, it'll teach them. Okay, if you need to walk in a circle, backwards with them, keep their heads up. That's the biggest thing, is keep those heads up and keep your legs in those grooves. And just back them up until they get it. And they will, it might take some time. There, did you see that? He locked this leg in the position and didn't move it again.